Hi, I'm Mindy Clove. I've been a demonstrator for 13 years, and I am going to share some scrapbooking ideas with you, showing you how you can use um, some new items from the digital scrapbooking brochure, um, how to use some things from the annual catalog for scrapbooking, and how to use memories and more cards on traditional 12 by 12 layouts. So I purchased the Whoops, okay. The Halloween Spells 12 by 12 designer series paper. I believe just the paper is, with the sticker sheet, is $17. And then the cardstock, I should have looked, but I wanted to do stuff without adding any stamp sets, additional things. So I ended up, and I kind of scrapbook a little more simply. I, I like my photos, most of the majority to be six by four or four by six. I cut them down sometimes, but not very much. But um, I ended up taking and doing this little two page spread. So this is just, like I said, using the card stock. So this is the white card stock that was in the coordinating pack. And I have, and I like multiple pictures on a two page spread. Um, so I've got a couple of four by threes, some six by fours and four by sixes. So I was able to get this page, and these are all stickers from the sticker sheet. So we've got those two. And then these, I end up throwing some three by threes you can cut down, um, either from four by sixes, you can cut them in half and stuff. And then sometimes I like to take like one or a couple of them. And I use dimensionals. These ones I actually didn't. So these, I've kind of just put little things, I put a little bit of adhesive, so then when I go and put pictures on these, I can just slip these off and stick my photos on. But I pop this little one up on dimensionals. Um, we just have the little stickers. These are the stickers from the sticker sheet. I believe I was able to get eight, four two-page spreads. So we have this, um, just using the cardstock mm -hmm. and the DSP, some more stickers and stuff like that. Just simple little layouts. I like I like my layouts sometimes to run onto the next page. You just cut off, sometimes it's two inches a little bit, but I do like to do that a lot. See on this photo right here, you'll end up just putting it on here. You'll slice it off and it'll be like, it'll kind of run over into the two pages. I like to do that sometimes too. And then I also got these two pages. So they're again using, you know, I pop this middle one up um, and then just have more stickers. So I was able to get four two page layouts using just one pack of the designer series paper, the coordinating cardstock and the sticker sheet. And I still have all these scraps and I have two full sheets and then all these scraps and four sheets of cardstock still that if maybe I spread my stickers out, I could probably get two more so I could get like 10 or five two page layouts and have a total of 10 pages just using, like I said, one designer series paper pack, coordinating cardstock and the sticker sheet. So that's what you can do with, um, and I've got dimensionals on the back of these, but I haven't like stuck it all the way down because I want to stick my photos on. And the really sad thing is I've got the Halloween one because I thought it was so cute. I actually don't have any Halloween pictures to put on these. I have already scrapped up my kids from when they dressed up. They're already scrapbooked, and so I'm not quite sure on what I'm gonna do with these. These might get gifted to someone because I don't, I have no Halloween pictures. Um, another thing that I, I had just done this recently, so I thought I'd grab it and come. These are just, this is just designer series paper cut in squares, and then this is using the Iconic Celebration from the online exclusives. It's got the paper, this is a stamp set. I have little candles. Some of these, they're, some are, every other one has popped up. And then I used the something to say dies with the little celebrate and just, it's kind of just on an angle. It's a really clean and simple layout. And that's just using some dies and like I said, some DSP. And like, this is like kind of like a little bundle set. So just clean and simple. Don't have to have a lot to scrapbook. So this I thought was really fun. So you know how we have, um, this paper pack, it has three pieces of designer series paper, and then it has three laser cut sheets of die cuts and stuff on them. 
And so I wanted to see what I could do, which is three, those three pieces of DSP, and then I added this petal pink glimmer paper that's an online exclusive right now. There's three colors in there. Wanted to see what I can do with four sheets of paper and then just some coordinating cardstock. And it has all these wonderful dyes in it. I have all these dyes still left over. It's kind of hard to tell, but I have a ton of dyes still left. So I can embellish more if I want once I get my, pa my pictures on. So using the four sheets of paper, oh, so I've got, I said, I, like I said, I like these to kind of flow together again. So I've done, I've got this little layout and I, I did cut down some smaller ones. But you can add, like I said, we can add more embellishments if we feel like we need that later. I did use some additional stamp sets on this and some of our punches and some dies and just added some words from stamp sets that I thought would just kind of make a simple, I felt like this could be any kind of holiday or any kind of pictures. So it's not necessarily specific to a birthday, but it could be. And then we have this layout here. So I was able to get two, nope, three two page layouts with four pieces of DSP and then just some coordinating 12 by 12 cardstock. So I've got, you know, six by four layout here, little journal, a uh, little title box, um, some embellishments and stuff like that. So we have this, and then we have this. So just really simple. These I didn't glue down. I've just kind of got a little tiny thing that I can just pull them right up, stick my pictures on. But um, like this, I popped up on dimensionals right here, and this one too, just because you can, um, it's nice to have a little bit of dimension in your scrapbooking still. So with four sheets of DSP and some coordinating cardstock and then the die cuts that came in the kit, you can get six two-page layouts. And then I wanted to show you how you can do use memories and more cards. This is our little Christmas pack and they have, you know, the four by six, the three by fours. You have multiples of each one. And then you have the four by six. Again, multiples of each in there, of course, double-sided. And then you have four sticker sheets. You have two of each of these. So I used memories and more, and then just some of the stickers. So one thing you can do with these is you're gonna just, you know, use any designer series paper. And I use reindeer paper from the reindeer days suite. I just have a couple of layouts that I use, but. So this one, it just has some, I actually had some basic white on the back. And then I took um, an eight and a half by 11 cardstock sheet and just cut it down. These two cards here are two three by fours. These are three by fours, but they're cut in half. And then this is a four by six. I've used some of the stickers and a little bit, a little punch. These are some stickers and then embellishments. Um, from the kit. These are three by fours. And this one I didn't realize until after the fact, but the pit, you notice that the presents are going, are going this way. But I thought, well, it's already stuck there and it looks okay if you don't look that close. You won't ever know, right? So here's, an, these are two four by sixes and then two more. And then you can just, you know, throw a picture here, a picture here. You can, you know, depending on your photos, you can have one like this. You can, you know, have some smaller ones. You can, you know, you can kind of just play with your layouts and stuff like that. But this is one way you can use like your memories and more cards. And then I have this layout. These are just eight and a half by 11. This is real red. Same thing on this side on 12 by 12, you know, designer uh, garden green. And then you have, these are just three of the memories and more cards on each side, just different ones. I used a punch, kind of used some of this, you know, stickers on there. These are all stickers and these are some of our embellishments. This is um, just one of the four by six cards I thought I'll use as a photo mat and I, po I popped it up on dimensionals, kind of hard to see, but um, got another three by four and four by six here, and I put some ribbon here and then kind of carried it over so we kind of have. And then you, if you have smaller pictures, you can throw them up here. Um, but that's just a way to use our ready-made memories and more cards. 
And then just one more thing I wanted to show you, which I had a lot of time doing this. I love my market, market set. So back in the day, <laughs> I was part of a group. We, we made our own memories and more cards. And we were, it was part of a swap and everybody kind of picked a stamp set. And then you kind of, you had to design two four by six cards and four three by fours. And then we would swap them with other people that had signed up for the group. And then you had to do two pieces of what we used to call card candy. They're like little embellishments that you can kind of stick on and stuff. And so, so what you'd get in the mail, or if you swap locally, is you get this so This is just one of our clear envelopes. And this is just something. So this is one of my little card candies. This is using the To Market stamp set and dies and the coordinating designer series paper. And then I used a bunch of other dies and stuff. And then our um, natural thread, linen thread, or it's in the holiday mini, because it's got garden green. These are my three by four cards that I did. Here's another one. And this one I used our little pocket dies. So I'll pull out. And then I have this. And then this is a little journaling card, okay? Um, like this one, I actually did um, a card for card class and this was our focal point. So I actually just took it and stuck it on there. This was, this was inspired by a card signed by another demonstrator and I just made it little. Um, so what you do with this is then you take your, you know, old little pieces that you've made and I have, just a piece of basic white. And we are going to do, I have to remember the correct way that I did it. Okay, I think I did a photo here. And then I have this up here. And then for six by four here, our little journaling card came down here. And then we have, nope, that's not right. <laughs> Goes like this and photo here. Okay, so you would glue these all down like so. And then this, I should just be putting this together. And then I have this little strip here. So you're gonna have your photos here, do some journaling here, or if you wanna stick another picture here, you could, and then you have the little card. One really cool thing, and I should have brought one of my pages that I done. You can take your page protectors and then slide this in and then take this out. And then if you will carefully take an X-Acto knife and cut through the page protector, but don't cut through your cardstock. Then you can then take this outside of your page protector and put it here so you don't have to like take the whole page out to pull out the little tab. So you're gonna have this little layout like so, and then you're gonna put, pop this up on dimensionals, and this is just gonna kinda come hang out right there. So then we're gonna take this lovely busy piece of paper. I love these veggies on here. And we're gonna cover part of it with a Blackberry Bliss square. And then we're gonna stick a four by four, and then you're gonna stick these. So now you have a two page spread, and then we have our other little piece of card candy. And this is gonna go right here. And so then you have this little two page spread. So you could do this same layout with just our already ready made memories of more cards that are in the annual catalog or the holiday mini, but I really enjoy creating and making my own too because we have such great products. It's like I just want to use them all in my scrapbooking. <laughs> and so those are just a few different ways that you can use our products with scrapbooking. Like, so you don't have to, I mean, we have the lovely workshop kits that have everything you need in it except your adhesive, you know, and they have beautiful layouts. You can play with just the DSP, the sticker sheet, and the cardstock. You can use our paper from the annual catalog and our stamp sets to make your embellishments. You can make your own memories and more, or you can use memories and more in your 12 by 12 scrapbooking. So there's lots of different ways you can use our products and I hope you get excited and preserve your memories.